Dante is of such positive nature. He's the person that just loves everybody, and I think people feel that. He's a really lovable, kind, uh, caring soul. He always makes me laugh. He makes a lot of people laugh. We were all about sports. Sports was everything. Sometimes we'd have three games a day. I went on a field trip to uh, New York City with all my friends and my neck got like really big and... He came to the hospital and was found to have a large mass in his chest um, and that went on to be diagnosed by biopsy as having T-cell lymphoblastic lymphoma. We got the biopsy and then it came back that it was cancer. And all of a sudden, the direction that you think your, your family is taking and your life is taking completely changes. A team of doctors uh, swept him away and it took my wife and myself uh, in a room and discussed all the things that would be happening. Up front, the treatment is very hard. Um, we give them a lot of medicine that makes them very sick. Dante had to endure uh, quite a few uh, uh, brutal treatments, I would say. Lost a lot of muscle strength, um, ability to walk for a while. I was just in a whole bunch of pain on so much morphine. It was not good, so he got extremely sick. Daily chemos and, and uh, a couple weeks stay in a hospital, it was, it was uh, gut-wrenching to see. And I just remember when she told me I probably won't ever play sports again. Nobody can tell you that things are going to work out okay, but you hope and pray that your child's strong enough to get through it. I always had it in the back of my mind that I was going to live, that I was going to beat it, and that was my mentality the whole time, and I know that helped me, and I know that was, that was more than half the battle right there. And that's really what he keeps telling everybody, this is never going to beat me and I'm going to show them that I can, that I, I'm here and I'm fighting this and, you know, this isn't stopping me. We're in a mutual nurturing relationship of taking care of him and he knows that he knows how we care about him and he responds by working so hard at getting better. I remember Janice and Matt coming upstairs from the Melody Center and holding him together. And I think sometimes when you're at your lowest point, you need that support. You need someone to say, you can do this, get up. What's interesting to see is, is just how the Melody Center is the backbone of everyone's world. And make you feel like, you know, we're a big family, we're gonna get through this no matter what. The doctors always would come in and joke around with him and always keep him laughing and happy. Talk about something else besides thinking that they're hooked up to chemotherapy. Dante came into a community that he had no idea existed and just became the mayor of the community. He just takes care of everyone. He and his mother and his father have decided to use their experience to help other people. He mentors people that are new patients coming into the Melody Center. He helps them understand that they will too get better. So we have other things planned, like Man of the Year is coming up, that I will be raising money for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. He put together a basketball game against the Harlem Wizards. And we raised about $20,000 for Make-A-Wish. It's when you say you can't do this or this might not work for you, it's when he stands up and says, oh yeah, watch. In the long run, this is going to impact who Dante Gallucci is 10 years from now. He's going to be a very special adult who does a lot of good in the world. With Dr. Pierce, I think she's such a part of our heart. I, I can't imagine life without her. The biggest person that I could thank for saving my life would be Dr. Pierce because she, she's like my hero now. Like no, like no other superhero could be her. She's, she's fantastic. And Janice was, she looked like Cinderella, and I kept thinking the whole time I watched her on the court, she is Cinderella. The way she makes children feel like they are her absolute favorite, and they're her children, she's just magical. 
And I just want to say, like, thank you for giving me my life again. Thank you for giving me back uh, where I wanted to be because you, you guys knew where I wanted to be. You guys are always loving and listening to me and what I want to do. And I just feel like when I stop chemo, it's just going to be like a new beginning. A mighty wind blew night and day, it stole the oak tree's leaves away, then snapped its burrows and pulled its bark until the oak tree was tired and stark. But still the oak tree held its ground while other trees fell all around. The weary wind gave up and spoke, how can you still be standing, oak? The oak tree said, I know that you can break each branch of mine in two, carry every leaf away, shake my limbs and make me sway. But I have roots stretched in the earth, growing stronger since my birth. You'll never touch them, for you see, they are the deepest part of me. Until today, I wasn't sure of just how much I could endure, but now I found that thanks to you, I'm stronger than I ever